Hey guys, this is Rainer here from TradingWithRainer.com Hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend because as for me, I'm still recovering from my cough, alright? From what I heard from doctor, it's called something like dry cough, so there's no phlegm but rather just consistent coughing and uh, it's quite a nuisance if you ask me. I have difficulty sleeping at night because the cough just keeps kicking in and I do apologize if throughout this video you hear me coughing because I really can't help but keep my cough up to, you know, up to like can't bear anymore so really I do apologize but I still try try to get this video out nonetheless so this week I'm actually looking at a number of pairs right because I see the market has quite a nice decent setups coming out along for the yen pairs as well as a particular exotic pair the US dollar against the Sing dollar but nonetheless we'll, we'll look at a, the yen pairs first all right and see what what this week brings us so looking at the yen pair right this is the pair of the Canadian yen I think I did mention some time back and let's look at the weekly chart. You can see that this pair is actually ranging, right? So it's been ranging for quite some time now, since March this year, right? In about, I would say, uh, like a 7-800 pip bridge here and here. So nonetheless, we all can agree that the trend is still intact, still up, you know. Until the prices close below this range, then we'll have a consideration that, hey, maybe the, the trend is changing for this pair. But nonetheless, for now, the bias is still to the upside and we know that it's ranging for the last few months so looking to play this setup we can see that the last three weeks this pair had a massive sell off sell off over the last three weeks so definitely the momentum is to the downside it's very bearish but looking at the daily charts we see something interesting we see that price is coming to a level that it has not broken over the last few months it, it was a support level the 92 and 92.50 tested once twice thrice well, didn't really come and test. And right now, last Friday, it closes into the support level. So will it hold or will it not hold? That's the question. So if you ask me, I do not know actually. And what I'll actually look to do is actually wait for a bullish reversal to get long. If there's no bullish reversal, I have no business getting long at all because you can see that the sell down is so strong, right? So why do you want to fight against the momentum? I'd rather wait for a bullish confirmation before getting long. If not, I'll just skip the trade, right? I wouldn't look to sell this pair either. So it's either a bullish pin bar or engulfing pattern at the support level that will warrant a long setup for me. If not, I'll stay out of this pair. So yep, do take note of the recent downside momentum because it's really strong and yep, a pair to definitely look out for. Looking at another pair, the Swiss franc against the yen. A little more interesting, right? Because you can see that compared to the Canadian yen, the strength is definitely stronger because it wasn't raging, but rather it still continues to make higher highs and higher lows, right? You can see here. Formed a triangle pattern down here. It broke up to the outside, retest, and hit higher. Right now, it seems to be retracing, and the retracement looks healthy, if you ask me. Right, you look at the last four candles, the, the last four down wicks, just really small candles, if you ask me, the last three compared to the Canadian yen. So that this shows that the selling pressure on the on the Swiss franc against the yen is not as strong compared to the Canadian yen. So I still have, I have a definitely a stronger bullish bias for this pair and I actually look too long on this pair. So how do I go about it? Well look at a daily chart you can see that price is actually right now ranging as well. Right ranging between the one I would say one fifteen five hundred and the one fourteen. Right this just I like to use round numbers usually. So, yeah, you can see it's ranging and look at the forward chart, we see a better view down here. So, we do have an upside bias and we want to buy low, sell high. So, right now we do have a story that is actually unfolding. The upward bias from the weekly chart, right, weekly, upwards. And right now on the 4 hour, it's ranging. So, when it's ranging, you want to buy low, sell high, buy low sell high so what is low the range has defined for us low is at the 114 level so that is low so compared to the canadian yen where i wouldn't simply buy the support level this pair i may actually just do that because of the fact that it's still in a very strong healthy uptrend and it's coming towards a decent support level the 114 which i'll look to long down here so profit targets why is a bit discretionary i wouldn't really want to go into into it where stop loss is something that i would like to mention stop loss i'll use a uh, two times ATR on the 4 hour, right? And the ATR I use is a 7 period ATR. So if you ask me, it's about, I just checked about 90 pips, right? So look to buy around 114 with a 90 pips stop loss for this for this pair. 
Okay, if you want to check the ATR, you can always go to your indicator and look at it. And I use a seven period personally. If you want, you can use fourteen or twenty period. It's really up to you. But I prefer seven period because it gives me the most recent volatility of the last seven candles. So yep, this is for my Swiss franc against the the yen. Another pair we'll look at is the pound dollar. Okay, so pound dollar again weekly chart. You can see that it's in an uptrend. However, this uptrend seems to be stalling at a significant resistance, which is the 167 level. Tested once, twice, thrice, and right now it seems to be consolidating around this area right now. So there could still be potential up moves, but those whatever up moves that you, is a, it will come along profit target wise, it'd be wise to take at the 167 level because it has shown that it's tested three times and we do, do not really know if it will break out this level. So for those who are you, of you who are looking to get long, I would actually be interested in this level here between the 162.50 and 163 level so again the usual setup pin bar engulfing pattern we'll look to long down here for more aggressive traders you may want to long at the support with the buy limit yep that's fine for you as well so yep that's for the pound dollar another setup or look is the Aussie New Zealand which I actually mentioned last week that I was actually looking for a retracement followed by a bearish engulfing pattern or pin bar however that did not come but however what happened was that in the forward chart there was actually a potential setup which we could have taken right because we know we have a sell bias for this pair all right so let, let I'll redo this analysis on the weekly chart you see the Aussie New Zealand is in a massive downtrend right just sell off consolidate sell off consolidate sell off so we see the pattern here for this pair is basically selling followed by a uh, consolidation followed by further selling and further consolidation further selling so look at the daily chart there wasn't any consolidation that we could actually see clearly but looking at the forward chart what happened last week was that we can identify this resistance level here and we see when this pattern for this slight consolidation happened we were expecting a consolidation wasn't it because we know that is the pattern for this pair for a while now and what happened to me that a trigger that we have set up a short would be this candlestick over here the bearish pin bar however I wasn't monitoring this pair at that point of time so I did not add on to my position but if you ask me this would actually be a uh, entry signal for me if I had saw it and I was placed my stops above the swing high and yep so this is a setup that I missed but nonetheless I'd like to share with you because I guess sharing I'll actually learn how to be a better trader myself right so this is the Aussie New Zealand setup that I missed and the last setup that is involved is uh setting up right now setting up right now is the US dollar against the Sing dollar I haven't really traded this pair often because I realized that the price action is not really too too interesting you know but nonetheless this coming week set up something quite interesting if you ask me because we know that there's resistance coming up around the 128 120 120 50 level that's the once that's the twice so what happened the last couple of days we, we see this some call it a tweezer top twe tweezer top or basically it's just two pin bar showing rejection at that resistance area so that looks like a weakness sign of weakness to me so i'll look to sell this pair <coughs> sorry about that and how i look to sell is simply if monday opens and it, it does not gaps higher Alright, so I look to sell somewhere near the open of last Friday. Place my stops above this high over here. And profit targets wise, I'll be looking around this support level and this as well. So this is for the SING against the US dollar pair. Sorry, the US dollar against the SING pair. So yep, definitely a potential trade I'm actually watching as well. So that's all I have for you guys this week. And if you guys enjoy what I do, you can actually subscribe to me on my website right my feed on my facebook page on my youtube and as well as join my email newsletter so with that i wish you guys good luck and good trading thank you